Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite makes the process of becoming a published best-selling author as simple as sipping your morning cup of coffee. You can learn more about Authors Unite at AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have a good friend of mine, Gary Henderson. Uh, He uses digital marketing to help entrepreneurs grow a huge following and create a massive impact. So welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, man. Pumped to have you here. Um, We'll jump right into the first one. The first question I have for you is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Yeah, so... You know, I, whenever I think about stories and I think about life, I, I think it really depends on where you're at right now. And, you know, I'm at a live event and there's a lot of people here that are just getting started or just kind of worried if they're worthy. So, you know, I think back and I think for me, it's like your past doesn't define your future. So it doesn't matter where you are. You know, for example, like I grew up with a like a single mom. She was a school teacher. I was an only child. I grew up in a single wide trailer in Southern West Virginia. And now I have the, like the honor and pleasure of working with some of the, the best people. I've got amazing friends all over the world that are doing absolutely amazing stuff. So just because something happened in your past and it doesn't matter what that something is, we all have a past. You know, there's that saying, if you, if we all put our problems or we all put our issues in the middle of a room, we would all go back and grab our own because we don't really want anyone else's. Mm. But it doesn't define where you go in the future because you get to choose that. And all you have to do is wake up one day and make a decision to change something. And you can totally change the past. Or you you can't change the past, but you can change your future so the past won't be defining you. Mm. And uh, excited for your answer on this one. Uh, What's the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? So the hottest thing, I sat down the other morning. I woke up super early and just looked at some clients I've served and tried to bundle together, like, what have I done for people over the last several years? And I think the hottest thing that people need to focus on right now, and they need to focus on it for years and years to come, is your personal brand. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got this stuff going on with politics. We've got all this stuff going on. And, you know, people are saying, well, you know, wait till, like, my kids or the kids of today grow up and they're running for political office, we won't have anybody in office if, if stuff comes back. It doesn't matter what your opinion is, but, you know, whenever Kavanaugh was running or he was a kid, they didn't have social media and stuff. So work on your personal brand and remember everything you do in life is going to be documented in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Mm, so agree. build your following. You know, Tyler, the bigger the brand, the easier it is to sell books, book a podcast, get blog readers, get new clients. It doesn't matter because... When you build your brand and you position yourself as an authority, then it's really, really easy to get people to come in and, and trust you and do some work with you. Yeah, man. It is a heck of a lot easier. Um, and then, so the next one uh, is, what is your best piece of just overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. Yeah. So just work smart and don't be afraid to work hard when you need to. And if you so, can, oh, sorry, like, never be afraid to actually work hard. But always try to work smart and think about it and say, is there a smarter way I can do this? You know, can I leverage a partner? Can I grab a VA or an assistant? Can I use a piece of technology? It drives me insane people that try to save 50 bucks and do something that takes them 30 hours because they don't want to buy a $50 piece of software. (laughs) So just, just look at it and say, can I do this smarter and can I leverage my time more? Yeah, I think that's really big. It's something I actually noticed with myself a few years ago where I was like in that mode of just working hard and not actually like reflecting about what I was doing. And right. then I so now what I do is like every two weeks I'll like stop on, on a Sunday and I'll sit back and I'll just kind of look at everything I'm doing. I'm like, how could I make this easier? Is this actually converting? Is this like actually providing value or is it yep. just busy work? Because sometimes we can get in these cycles where it seems like we're being productive but really we just did 10 hours of like hustle that really provided nothing. (laughs) Uh, So it's good to reflect on those things. I agree with you completely. Um, And then if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? 
So uh, the biggest soapbox that I'm on these days is don't follow a traditional path. So like I hated school when I was growing up. I wasn't like I'm a smart guy, but I never really enjoyed the the routine and the the mundane stuff you have to do in school in order to make a grade. So I was taught because I grew up with a single mom that was a school teacher. I was taught that success was go to college and get a good job. And that's what they still teach today in our schools. So, you know, if I could be that person today, looking back and, and telling my, my younger self that's in middle school or elementary school or even high school, like you can be successful and you can have a great life without going to college. I think it's absolutely absurd that we're asking 16 and 17 year olds to go in debt hundreds of thousands of dollars and make a choice for the rest of their life. When a huge group of people go get a degree that they never end up using. So just don't follow a traditional path, make your own path and it's okay. And you'll end up exactly where you're supposed to be, regardless of where you go. Couldn't agree more. Um, and kind of going, uh, yeah, as you spoke, uh, down a little bit of a different path. In your opinion, what is the key to happiness? You only have one life. And your most valuable asset's time. So don't waste your time. You know, you'll never be able to get back another second of this day. This, these few minutes that we're talking here today, we'll never have a chance to relive these moments. So, you know, I like what you said about you evaluate things every couple of weeks because, you know, look at your life. You're not going to say, man, like if you're on your deathbed or you die early, I had a friend pass away early in life this year. And, you know, whenever those final seconds going through his head, he's not going to say, man, I should have worked more. Mm. Or he's not going to say, man, I should have spent less time with my family and my friends. He's going to say, man, I wish I would have spent more time or I wish I would have worked less or I wish I would have enjoyed life a little bit more so just remember that like money is just money but time is the one thing we can never get back mm. and uh what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that so i'm not a reader um and <laughs> i got this question a couple weeks ago on a podcast and i'd say the most impactful thing and it's it's a business thing but it was um the win without pitching manifesto by Blarians. And I only read the first chapter of the book. So I didn't even read the whole book. But what he said was, I own a marketing agency. And he says, the world doesn't need another general marketing agency. You know, what the world needs and what the true better clients are willing to pay for is a specialist. So rather than just trying to go be what everybody else is being, set yourself apart, find something you're great in, and focus on that. And, you know, that chapter is the biggest thing that stands out whenever anyone asks me about a book. Mm. And what is your favorite quote and why? Mm, this is a tough one too. I'm not a huge quote guy, but <laughs> um, I, I did rack my brain a little bit on this, but I think it's whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right by Henry Ford. And it's because life's about the mindset that you put yourself in. And if you think you can do it and you put forth the effort and the energy, then I think you can achieve just about anything. Mm, I love that quote too, man. Dude, thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? Yeah, just our website. It's digitalmarketing.org. So digitalmarketing.org. Perfect, man. Thanks again. Most definitely, man. Thank you so much. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.